Hey everyone, today we're going to see how we can make a serverless rules application in three easy steps thanks to Cogito. Are you ready to get started? Let's do it! Our first steps will be to create our Cogito for rules application using code.quarkus.io. So let's see how we can do that. I've prepared here already the website and in this video I'm going to do the steps manually but in the description of this video you will find a link that will have automatically selected all the extension for you in order to have an easier get started. So the first things uh, we need to select some Cogito rules extension. In this video we are going to use the Cogito DMN rules DMN engine simply because it provides some starter code and it will be easier to follow but of course you can use any Cogito rules extension as you may like. Then we are going to need some rest easy extension. Here in this video, I'm going to select a classic Jackson, but you will be able to select any other extension for rest easy that uh, you may need. Then because we are going to have a serverless use case, we are going to select some Kubernetes extension. In this case, this one, Quarkus Kubernetes extension and then we are going to use the jib for container image so this is the extension that we need and these are the basics one which are needed but for some extra points uh, we can plug in uh, some uh, small i open api in order to have the swagger open api specification descriptor file generated for us so we can give it a name let's give it demo 2022 or 7.30 and we can take this one and we can call it uh, Drools uh, Serverless and let's generate the application we can download the zip and uh, we can use now this uh, application generated in order to just configure what we need in the second step we are going to maintain a couple of container image properties here I've already valorized them on top of the generated application from the previous step. The first one is instructing the Quarkus build to generate the Knative descriptor for deployment on top of Kubernetes and Knative, making this rules application effectively serverless with auto scaling and scale to zero, as we will see in the demo shortly. When deploying to Kubernetes, my preference is to go through an image registry. Quay.io is my preference of choice when selecting a container image registry, but you may want to opt for Docker Hub or something similar. This is my account on Quay.io, and the final properties will make sure to always include the Swagger UI, the OpenAPI UI, which will make it a bit more easier to interact with this Drool serverless application going through the browser. So this is all we need, and the logic in this application is a simple decision table expressed with DMN, but it will be very similar if you add some DRL rules as part of your Cogito and rules application. We are going to see down the next step how to deploy it. We are now ready to deploy our serverless rules application. We are going to do it now in this third step by issuing a couple of deploy command. The first command is going to actually push our image to the container image registry. Maven clean, and then we are passing this command line option. Here is the result of the command. As we can see, it took a little because it needed to download some Docker image and then to push the container image into the container image registry. But as we can see, it is successful. And if we go to the container image registry, quay.io, this is my account, and this is my application, and this is, we see, it is completely ready and available to be deployed. Let's do it now. The second command are going to deploy the Drools serverless application on top of our Knative Kubernetes cluster. Here I'm using the Red Hat developer OpenShift sandbox. As we can see, it is currently empty. So now what we just need to do is kubectl apply file target kubernetes knative yaml. And as we can see, the resource is being provisioned. 
it will take a little time because the first time it needs to provide the container image. Here we are seeing our Drool Servers application. You remember, these are the ones that we co-generated and we configured, is now deployed on the OpenShift and Kubernetes cluster. So we can make use of this worker to actually exercise the decision logic. So as we remember, there was a simple decision table that depending on some condition, decided some base pricing. As we can see, the rules, in this case, the decisions, thanks to the DMN model decision table, have been enacted. And this is the application working on top of Kubernetes. Now, we are going to not exercise the application and wait that Knative, the recognizing that the application is not being used, will apply auto-scaling, and specifically auto-scale to zero. Have you seen it? Because nobody has used our Drool serverless application, Knative automatically scaled that to zero. Yeah! And there you have it. We implemented a serverless Drool application in three simple steps. As a recap, first, we created our application using code.quarkus.io. This allowed us to use Cogito, Drools, and all the many extensions from the Quarkus ecosystem. Then, we just needed to maintain and configure a couple of properties to set up correctly the container image definition. And finally, we issued a couple of deployed command on the command line in order to deploy our Drool serverless application. Yeah! And this is all from me today. But before you go, do you know that only 10% of you are subscribed to this channel? So I would really appreciate if you would consider clicking that subscribe button, the bell, leave any comments for any feedback, so also to be updated when a new video will be available. It really helps a lot and the feedback is always welcome. With that, I will see you at the next time.